Mm. What's coming into the ESPN inbox there from Chuck Salatoro, who feeds everyone at this network the things to be talked about? Oh, bleep. Chuck Salatoro is saying that Todd McShay is saying the Pats' reign in the AFC is over. (laughs) Yeah! Finally! Finally! It's so nice! Gosh! Oh, I feel warm all over. It's all over. That's all it took. I mean... Why is it all over? Uh, does he tell us who's stopping it? Okay, let me see here. I've got to read some more. But just know that the headline is McShay, colon, Pat's reign in the AFC is over. That's not a qualifier. That's more of a fact. Stated as more of a fact than Greedy Williams or David Football Gettleman. Mm-hmm. It's a somewhat long video, but one of the things he said is the decline for Brady has started. I uh, just warned Todd that Dan said that about a decade ago, and since then he's won like three MVPs, three more Super Bowls, some Super Bowl MVPs. Dan said it a decade ago, and he's had a second Hall of Fame career. <laughs> you know, dudes, I'm a pretty chill bra normally. Pretty chill bra. But this is yet another day in which you're ignoring the NHL playoffs, dude. It's been incredible. I'm a little confused as to why the Islanders are in the Coliseum, then they're in Barclays. Boy. It's a little confusing for me, dude. I just like to hang and chill a little bit. You're throwing a lot at me. But how about those canes, dude? <laughs> and Seabass. Seabass Ajo. I like to call him Nacho. You keep sleeping on these dudes, dude. Ajo, real hang ten shock abroad. This segment was a little forced, but I had pizza. So <laughs> um, did the NBA indeed go? I, I haven't looked, actually. I don't know whether a five beat a four or not. Did it indeed go the very predictable one two three four one two three four on the advancements? Uh, uh, I believe so. Yeah. Um, so we're sitting there not talking about hockey, and we are talking about the most predictable results you could get. That's well, what makes the NHL so special, dude. The ball is around, the puck is a biscuit, man. Biscuit. <laughs> that biscuit bounces all over the place. All you gotta do is put it on net. I tell my kids all the time, dude, just put it on net. Good things kids. happen. Kids. You have kids. Yeah, you man. have little surfer. No, huh? I do know. I manage an underprivileged rollerblading team. <laughs> Kill it. Of course. <laughs> ben is blades. Check us out. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, that is if you're not familiar, that is a hockey guy, surfer, hockey guy, far away from the mic. I believe it to be the worst character in the history uh, of this show. Pretty limited, but I can just say catchy things like Zah, and it takes off. But it's all you have is Zah and Chaka Bra. It's all that's in the arsenal of that character. Which reminds me, who's this dude that's playing goalie for the Avs? Roy. I don't, I don't know. Know. I think no, Roy retired. <laughs> I love that Stugatz joke because it's not pronounced Patrick Roy. What? Like you were saying, Chris said wah. I asked for Roy. It's Stugatz followed behind me with Patrick Roy, which isn't his name. Time for the funniest thing from the sports weekend. Hey, people. Tell us what in the sport made you laugh hard this weekend. It is a segment we call What Make You Laugh This Weekend. Ha, ha, ha. Roy, that segment that you've been waiting for all your life to show your knowledge showed everyone why you lost your title as black guy who knows the most about hockey anywhere in America. That's why you lost your title right there. I bet you the black guy who beat you in that competition could answer that question. I'm just emotionally drained right now. That's why I just saw with this, this guy over here. With a uh, hockey guy far away from the mic. I'm done. <laughs> you look grab hour. <laughs> um, that's, that's the dude's name. Thank you. Way, <laughs> thank you, Hi- Hang Ten Shakaza. Um, Chris, what do you have there? What do you have as the funniest thing from the sports weekend? Pat McAfee making the Colts pick. We've already played it like 17 times. Just check it out on the podcast. Uh, we've played it twice. It's okay. We can play it again. It's funny. Uh, go ahead and play it again, Mike. Hello, Nashville. I'm not going to say a single word about the Tennessee Titans record against the Indianapolis Colts because I was a punter, and there's no reason for me to talk about that. With that being said, we did not punt much against the Tennessee Titans, so you probably have no clue who I am to begin. Two years ago, when I retired from the Colts, 
I retired alongside two greats, Robert Mathis and Joe Wrights. A couple months later, I watched the draft. Robert Mathis announced the pick, Joe Wrights announced the pick, and then an orangutan announced the fourth round draft pick. I was replaced by a zoo animal. I was not upset about it because the orangutan was terrible at his job. With that being said, the Indianapolis Colts are the hottest team, not only in the AFC South, but the entire NFL. A young nucleus surrounding the Stanford nerd, Andrew Luck. Two All-Pros were drafted last year, 10 this year. And with the 89th pick of the 2019 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts, Jim Irsay and Chris Ballard select future Hall of Famer, linebacker <laughs> from Stanford, Bobby Okariki. Okariki. So <laughs> Billy, uh, what was the funniest thing from the sports weekend? LaShawn McCoy upset everybody because he oh, took his son to see the uh, Avengers movie, and he was sad by what happened, so he tweeted about it, and everybody lost their minds. I want to say it right now. Can I say what happened? Oh. I want to say it. No, no. Your parent company. I'm saying no, it Thursday. No. If you haven't seen this movie, in one, you get one week. I am saying it on air Thursday, what okay. happens in this movie. All right. Well. Uh, raw. Raw. What was Patrick Waugh? Excuse me. That's what I should have said. <laughs> Waugh. What is the funniest thing from the that's sports weekend? That's too. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the Spurs uh, not fouling at the end of game seven. Uh, <laughs> that was great. The way the Spurs season ended was funny. They couldn't hear the yeah. coaching staff. That's how loud it was that's in Denver. You, that's why you play for home court, everybody. Uh, Mike, what was the funniest thing from the sports weekend? Uh, <laughs> useless. Just useless. It's, uh, it's all that observation on Twitter. I'm like, yeah, that is why you play that for the home That is why you play for the home yeah, court. Yeah, loud. In 2019, shouldn't all the visiting players have something like attached to them that the coach can push, like a little zap button? Like, oh, he's calling me. I can't hear him. Like a little like a little buzzard button. Or just know that in every basketball game yeah, ever, ever, you foul in that spot. That's right. That, that, that would too. be good, too. That would work. I saw this on Twitter. It was in the uh, Championship League, which is the uh, the league level below the Premier League. So there's a team in a promotion battle right now, Leeds United, and they were playing Aston Villa. An Aston Villa player got injured, and usually you kick the ball away and you respect the injured player. Leeds United scored a very controversial goal, and it started a brawl immediately. It was ugly scenes in this match. So ugly that the Leeds United manager had to order his team to let Aston Villa score a goal right after that because it was so unfair. So you had a manager directing his team to just let Aston Villa go from one end to the pitch of the pitch to the other to score a goal uncontested. Uh, Stugatz, what is the funniest thing from the sports weekend? A man named Lucas Bates ran the London Marathon in a Big Ben costume. I saw that. That had to be painful. I, I can't gotta, believe he did that as Roethlisberger. I, I got <laughs> I gotta think that that's going to hurt the body in the morning. I saw the video. He was actually running more fluidly than Ben Roethlisberger. He does. <laughs> that's right. Actually, that looked like a more mobile Big Ben than the one that plays in the NFL. Um, Mike, the funniest thing from the sports weekend is Todd McShay announcing that the Patriots' reign in the AFC is over. <laughs> what is this I'm hearing that you actually agree with Max Kellerman potentially and that the New England Patriots are suddenly vulnerable? Explain yourself, sir, please. I mean, what, what's your definition of vulnerable, first of all? And give me the specifics as to why you feel that way. I, th I mean, they're going to win the AFC East. I, oh, I believe okay. that. Okay. But, okay. but for the first time ever, I, I watched Tom Brady towards the end of last season and started to see a, a little bit of a decline. That was the first time ever. And I, you know, I've listened to people say, I can remember they, they got, he threw five picks against the Chiefs years ago, and everyone's like, it's over, you know? And, and that was a joke. And a few years ago, everyone's like, ah, you know, it, it, the, the run is done. But Gronkowski, and I know they've won games and playoff games without him, but Gronkowski was, was the guy for Brady. Brady has started to decline a little bit. I mean, you look at the numbers, and they're they're still really good, and most teams would love to have it. But, you know, I, I see a little bit of a decline in him, and they lost Trey Flowers. They lost a lot of good players in the offseason. So, for the first time ever, I look at this Patriots team and say, you know, I, I don't I don't expect them to win the Super Bowl, and I don't expect them to get to the Super Bowl. And that's the first time I've, I've thought that in many years. Super funny. Oh, great job. Good choice by good Dan. Good choice by Dan. Oh.